Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 130 of Fluke Fridays. And what we're going to talk about today is um, the next video in the series of battery testers. So we're going to go over the software. How do you use it? I will show you in the, so in the software on the PC. How do you use that and uh, get your data off the battery tester as well as I will try to add a clip at the end that kind of shows how do you um, to get the information off onto your phone if you don't want to use your PC. So I already have Fluke battery management software up. You will need to download this off of fluke.com and have admin rights to get it on your PC. Once you do that, you'll notice here on the lower left hand corner, it says disconnected. That is because it has it is not connected to the battery tester right now. Now I do have the battery tester already plugged in with a USB cable um, to the PC, but it's not connected. So we come up here, we do file, connect, and you can see it self-populates what COM port you say connect and ding, 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 and then here we go. Now we've got the YouTube um, test that we did. Now I've already downloaded this, but if you haven't, you can hit download and get it onto the PC. Once it's on the PC, you can click over here on these tabs right here, right? So we're going to click over to the PC and you can click YouTube and we see that if we click that, um, you see it just says YouTube, so we can expand, click on this, and it just expand, expand, expand. But if we go all the way down to the bottom, then it gives you everything that you set up initially. Over here, we have the um, impedance reading. So we've got all of our 18 batteries that we tested, the resistance or impedance that we got in milliohms, you have DC voltage, temperature in Celsius, and then time and date stamped. If you did other things like discharge voltage, you could click through here, or just the just the um, DC voltage, AC, ripple volts, auxiliary, and strap. So you can click through all of those things if you so wish. Another thing I'll highlight up here is you can minimize this data and then maximize one of these others like threshold or owner, right? So owner, put your name in there, whatnot. Um, and then threshold, you can create a threshold if you don't already have one. Now I did create a threshold, um, but you would just hit new and create a threshold. And this would be your pass fail test. And we're gonna need that later um, when we go to make a report and look at the data a little more. So if we wanna analyze the data other than just look at it, now obviously you can save this and look at it, but let's say you're gonna make a report I would suggest click analyze. It's gonna pop up a separate window. Pull this over here and here we go. We can click on this and now it's charted for us. A little bit easier to see, but you can see everything is green. So if we want a threshold and we wanna have warnings and fails, we can then click our threshold and now we have warnings and fails right here. If we wanted to add that to the report, we just click this and we can add to the report. Another thing you can do is you can add the table. And again, I've got threshold one. If you didn't, you, it would look like this. If you add threshold one, now you've got your pass fails for the different components, okay? So you got your green and red and whatnot. And I'm assuming the threshold, if we go back over here and look at this threshold, I probably didn't do anything. See, I didn't have anything for temperature or battery voltage. Had I had that, then we can make it more green and whatnot. Okay, um, let's jump back over to here. So we can add this to the report as well. Now we can go over to the report management and we can preview this, see what we get. Okay, so you get your summary right here. And you can see all these things. You can then hit generate or a Word document. Let's hit generate and see what it looks like. So 
So there we get all of our readings. And this probably would be enough for your standard report if you just need those. If you do want the pass fail, I'm going to have to play around with this a little more to show how to add that. Okay. So I did click it and the ohms volts diagram was in there that time. So you can in fact do that. So hopefully that was helpful, how you make a report and then you could save those reports on your PC, time and date stamp them so that you have a record of how many of these tests you've done. Now I'm gonna sign off here and we'll jump over to my phone just so you can see how it looks when you download the test results from the um, battery tester and then how can you get that on your um, email or whatever. So we'll see you over there. Okay, so we've got our battery tester on with the Wi-Fi on or the Fluke Connect, I hit that button and then this little guy hit there. And you're gonna need this app, Fluke BA Mobile. And from what I can tell, it's only on the uh, Apple, the App Store. It's not on Google Play. So if you're, if you can't find it on Google Play, don't be surprised. I think it's only on the App Store. So you might need an iPhone to do this. Once it booted up, I just hit refresh, and now we see the battery tester. When I click this, you're going to see in the background, the, it'll say that it's connected. So now it's communicating. Now, I didn't have my time and date stamped properly when I did the test the other day, but it's under here, YouTube UPS, and here we go. So we see this. We can say we want to see more information, and this is if we're wanting to view it on the device itself click this and here's all the readings we had now if you want to get that to your PC or save it for your reports you can hit save and I will send to myself and we'll show you what this looks like on the PC so I'll type in my email and send it there and then we'll be good to go okay we are back over at the PC I've emailed myself I opened up this email and this is what it looks like as far as the text is concerned, you can see in the body of the email, you've got all these re readings um, throughout. And then you can double click this to open up your document. And here it is in Excel. And you kind of see the same thing, except it's broken down a little more and easier to read. Now from here, you can go ahead and you can get all your readings and go ahead and move forward with life and you are good to go. If you um, have other questions or you need something else, um, leave them in the comments below. But this is how you can make reports. This is how you get the information off of the battery tester, either onto your phone or onto the PC to make reports and then save them and document for compliance purposes that you have done these tests and you are still in compliance. So hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you've watched more than three of these videos, it's time to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps the channel get out to more people. So thanks and have a great weekend. Take care.